we in Vermont have um, really a lot going on. Like everywhere else, we have COVID, but we also have serious underlying issues that have been existing before COVID that need to be addressed now and in the future. We know that in the last four years, the economic well being of our kids has plummeted. When Phil Scott started in 2017, we were ninth in the nation. And now in 2020, we are 18th. Given that affordability was one of his biggest agenda items to have dropped from ninth to 18th in these four years is really not a hallmark of a successful administration. We know the climate has far more needs to be addressed in these last four years that have not been addressed. We know that affordable housing is a big issue. We have 66,000 Vermonters who earn the minimum wage and they are struggling. And we know for just $1 more per year in the minimum wage, that's $2,000 for each one of those workers. That's as much as $100 million a year that would be circulating in our economy, building our, our economy from the ground up. We know that there's 70,000 households and businesses in Vermont that do not have broadband and adequate broadband coverage. This is a big deal. We have kids trying to learn remotely right now that can't learn. We have businesses that are trying to make a living selling their products. They can't get communication out to people around the country and around the world. We know there's real economic potential in our rural areas of better broadband. And we can tackle the climate crisis by putting more into broadband so people don't have to drive to work five days a week. Maybe some could drive three or four days a week and save carbon output. We know that 68,000 Vermonters were below the poverty line before COVID started. Now, even more are struggling. These are issues that we need vision for going forward. And as your governor, I'm looking forward to being someone who implements policies to build us out of poverty and build our rural economy. And I need your help to do it. We know that 60,000 Vermonters are food insecure, again, before COVID, now even more so. We have amazing Vermonters who have come together, who have done mutual aid groups. We have folks from Bernie's team who have collected food from my farm and other farms, giving food out. We have programs across the state, like Everyone Eats, that the state has helped fund to keep restaurants in business, making food, delivering food to people who are hungry. But we know that we have to build an economy where folks are not food insecure. And this election here in Vermont is so related to all the rest around the country. We need to bring decency back to democracy. We absolutely need to make sure we are electing people all over the country that respect the rules and procedures and institution of our democracy, where we speak with people across party lines, where we can sit down and negotiate differences, and where we can bring people in from all walks of life into the process, just as I have as a legislator for 18 years and as Lieutenant Governor for the last four years. So, we have to make sure we elect Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to the White House. We have to take back the Senate nationally, and we have this opportunity in Vermont to take the governor's office and move Vermont in a forward direction, not with a governor that's vetoed 20 bills in the last four years, but with a governor who's gonna work with the legislature to implement raises to the minimum wage, paid family leave, climate crisis legislation, and so forth. And I would like your vote, and I hope we just get out the vote rally will not only get you to vote, but get you to help for the next couple of weeks, volunteer and help get other people to vote. And folks, hopefully, not only to vote for me and Joe Biden, but Molly Gray for Lieutenant Governor and all the other Democrats up and down the ticket to those local legislative races and other statewide races. Obviously, we also in a minute, will be hearing from Peter Welsh, who we also want everyone to vote for to reelect him to Congress. So uh, in a few minutes, we're gonna hear about how you can help me. We're gonna have our volunteers on the line. We're gonna have our volunteer coordinator. You're gonna hear all the ways that folks are helping out from leafleting to honking waves, to phone banking and text banking. Um, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but in the other things we're gonna do in a little while, along with hearing from Molly Gray, who's running for Lieutenant Governor, we're gonna hear um, from Bernie Sanders, our surprise guest today is gonna to be speaking in a little while. Uh, but we're also going to hear the results from the Ponytail Challenge. Uh, you'll learn more about it, that in a minute. 